Hey guys, it is Tiffany and Brad. And today, as promised, we are doing the pregnancy Q&A video because Brad hasn't been on a video since I announced the pregnancy. And Brad is obviously a big part of this as well. But we wanted to do sort of a Q&A video because um, a lot of you were asking questions about what Brad thought and all this. And um, I thought we were gonna just do one at the very end but I thought it might be good to do one halfway. Yeah. Maybe one at the end. Um, so, Brad just asked me, he was like, did you print out the questions or did you, and I haven't even looked. I just pulled up that video where I told you guys to ask questions and I'm at the very top and so we're just gonna kinda scroll and go through questions. So, I feel like a lot of these are gonna be, um, a lot of these are gonna be on. directed toward Brad, obviously. Okay. Questions for Brad from CG. I don't know if I'm going to read everybody's name because it's going to be hard. Okay, number one. What was the reaction of the news of you becoming a father? I was excited. We It wasn't a surprise. So we have, we've been trying for a while. So I was I was very excited. Yeah. It wasn't anything that took me by <laughs> surprise or anything. I busted it on him in the shower. Yeah. So it kind of did take you by surprise. That happens all the time. <laughs> so no, that was, no, I'm, I'm excited. It's, it's, I'm, I'm very Typical. excited. Okay. Uh, and number two, what types of books, this is from the same person, what types, this is, these are all directed, questions for Brad, she says. Mm -hmm. What types of books are you reading or advice, or advice you are following to prepare for fatherhood? I haven't really read any books. No. I've been looking at some, Tiffany's been, she's been reading a lot. She's been reading more for both of us. She's been reading a very lot. I, I, I been listening to her. I've been reading for the both of us. Essentially. I, I well, we talk about it. We talk about it all the time, and she, and every question that I have, she already knows the answer to. So it works out for That's me. That's not always good. true. Eh, most of the time it's true. We did see a book at Bye Bye Baby the other night that said it was a book for fathers. I was like, look, Brad, a book for fathers. And he was like, you could see, he was like, huh. Because yeah. Brad's not a big book guy. Mm -hmm. I mean, you like to read some things. Yeah, but I've, I've not read anything about this do, yet. Do but me and Tiffany have been. Do you think you should? Well, yeah, I could, yeah, I will. I've, I've been planning on doing it, you know, closer to the time anyway, but she knows all the answers. You don't have to. You don't have to. You don't have to read a book. You okay. don't have to. You don't have to. Okay. And three, what changes do you think you will personally look forward to when your child is born? What changes? Let's see. I know we're really looking forward to. A lot of changes. A lot of, yeah, a lot of changes. <laughs> looking forward to the most. Um, hmm. Getting up every morning with her would be fun. Um, right now, I just get up and... It's kind of just the same schedule. I get up pretty early and we go to work, but getting up and getting her ready for school and stuff will be fun, I think. Uh, That'll be a long time. Yeah, it'll be a while away. I guess closer, um, hmm. hmm. Laying, staying up with her at night and just just playing with her and watching her do whatever she does. Well, that's good. <laughs> it'll, be, it'll be fun. That is so sweet. <laughs> okay. okay, do you have a name picked out and who picked it and will you show your baby on YouTube? That's two good questions. So, do you have a name picked out? Who picked it? We have a name. We do have a name picked out. We kind of both had a whole bunch and we kind of just went back and forth with it. We've been talking about names since well before we even knew we were pregnant. Or she even knew she was pregnant. Yeah. But Me. we, yeah, yeah, I don't, I don't know. But we, we do have a name picked out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah we're, it's pretty hammered down because we've already gotten some things. His mom made us some things with her name on it and, um, and... She asked, oh, and she didn't ask this, but I think we've decided we're not going to share it until she's mm -hmm. born. Because that's pretty much what we always decided to do. And then the other day I texted my friend and I was like, I really want to share the name. And she was like, don't do it. Just wait. And I was like, okay, <laughs> I'm going to go with my original, you know, cause I think I'll regret it if I, not regret it, but I just don't want to share it until she's here. Yep. And then it says, will you show your baby on YouTube? This is a question, or this is something we've talked about a lot, and it's something we've kind of been, like, not firm about, but we, we knew kind of what our stance was from the beginning. We don't want to overexpose our child, and I think it'll be more through pictures here and there. We don't want to, like, Lion King our baby on YouTube. You know what I mean? Like, ah. Uh... Sure, a little bit here and there. Yeah, but um, I just, I always think, like, <laughs> I'd be mortified if I knew grow if I knew now like not so much now well yeah but I know when I was like maybe in middle school or in high school or in elementary school too like older I would be mortified if I knew that there were home videos of me like 
money. Because I was embarrassed enough to see home videos. Not when you're a baby, though. Not older. when you're a baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Older, when you're yeah. a little older. I was embarrassed by the home videos a little yeah. older. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like, I like seeing that on YouTube. I just don't know if I'll be comfortable. You know what I mean? It'll be good anyway. Let's go. We'll see. We'll just see how yeah. it goes. We'll see what happens. Oh, gosh. Milk. Oh. Cow, why why milk, has, that? milk has cow pus in it. That's why you get so congested. It causes more mucus. Okay. Mm -hmm. Question. Do you feel like you get pregnancy brain where you're extra forgetful or clumsy? Yes. 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 <laughs> yes. Okay. Um, <laughs> uh, how did you tell Brad you were pregnant? How did you know to take a pregnancy test? I busted it on in the shower. And I knew I had to take the pregnancy test because I had a dream saying, Oh, look, this girl answered. She goes, he was in the shower, and she told him she had a dream about being pregnant two times, and she had one, and left. Well, yep, that's it. Sweet, sweet Stephanie has just completely summed up. She needs to just answer these questions. That was sweet. Question. Hi, Brad. I wanted to ask you, how did you know you wanted to be a father? Most men have no biological clock and taking their time to settle down. Some get a woman pregnant and realize they don't want kids. <laughs> you're, you're in your 30s, you're pretty young. How did you know? I wish Tiffany and Brad all the best and a healthy baby. Thank you so much, that is so sweet. We have been talking about it for, ever since before we got married. Yeah. And we had, not a time, like an exact date, but we had a time frame where we wanted to try and it actually worked out pretty close to what we wanted. So I've been wanting this, we both have for last 10 years. Yeah, we've always wanted kids, but we did have a time. Right. And there have been times where we're like, oh, we should just have a baby, you know, but it's like, we just really wanted everything to be good. And like I say, you know, you're never going to have a perfect situation to bring a child into the world, but you can be more prepared, and that's just what we mm -hmm. tried to do. Yep. It says, uh, for you and Brad, do you have anything regarding the baby's birth and parenting stuff that is a big no-no for you? If, mm -hmm. what's, what, if, if so, what is it? Something that you knew from the beginning that you'll never do. Huh. These we've never seen before, so it's kind of like we're on the spot here. I don't Big think... no-no. I don't know. I just I hate to say that because I know so many people parent different ways, and I don't want to judge anybody or say I would never do that. Then someone does that and it works, but you know what I mean? I yeah, I guess. I don't want to seem like judgy. I or... guess the decision will be made when it happens. Yeah. I haven't thought that. I haven't really thought about that. A question for Brad: Has have any of your guy friends given you baby advice? And if so, what? <laughs> nope. <laughs> Nothing, yeah. no. They've been pretty quiet. They've been pretty quiet yep. about the baby advice. None of my friends, well, maybe some of my coworkers have children. Yeah. yeah. They, they, but some, as far as my friends that I've been with for many, many years, they don't, none of them have kids. Mm -mm. So. I think I freaked out one of his friends that comes over a lot because um, he came over and I had like all of the, it was in the beginning when we mm -hmm. had like the scary ultrasound pictures that did yeah. not look like a baby and he came over and I remember I was like showing him it was like on the fridge and I was like oh look at this one and look at that one and oh you get it and I, and I just remember I think back and I remember like why did I do that because this guy is just like you know I'm not sure I don't think he's he ever was, seen one of those pictures I don't think before he was in his life in, I don't think he was into it so no that's <laughs> and if they did I probably wouldn't take it anyway so <laughs> Yeah. And it says, Tiffany, what are you most looking forward to about having a daughter? Um, everything. I know that sounds silly. It's not just like having a girl versus a boy like, oh, you can dress her up and cute things and girly things. It's not so much that. It's so, it's more like, like I'm a girl and I knew like, I just feel like I'll be able to relate to her really well, hopefully. And like, give her things that I know um, like I grew up, I mean I had a great childhood, but you know just, you just kind of know things that girls need being a girl, mm -hmm. you know, and I just want to really like support her and oh. um, be a good mom. Oh, I feel like I'm tearing up. Oh. Wouldn't be a surprise. <laughs> <laughs> that happens, okay. that happens. Well, yeah. Okay, question for Brad. What is the biggest change in Tiffany that you have noticed during this time? She can't, she's, yeah, she has difficulty sitting down <laughs> I don't know it hasn't been anything my pants and stuff. yeah she it's just the stuff that you expect I, I the biggest change I don't as far as the body I mean to be the body it'd be her getting the baby I don't I don't there hasn't really been anything major that I like know. I seem like the same person yeah. I mean I'm not like hopefully like, yeah, and then this yeah. kind of and then right after this she says um 
uh, has Tiffany's attitude changed? Is she crabby, happy, emotional, or just a mix of everything? Should be a mix of everything. <laughs> crabby? No, it, it's get, she's emotional. I get irritated. I mean, she, I'm not like angry, like, ah! It's but, uh, like, emotional. Emotional. A lot easier, just stuff, it's a lot, I guess, you know, a lot of things change, obviously, so it's... Brad, are you planning on being there for the delivery? Yes. You better be there for the delivery. Yes. Nobody else is going to be there. I'm, I'm very funny about that. Like, I just want him to be in there. Not that I, I want my family to be there, but I'm just very strange about, like, the actual room, about, like, giving birth. It just freaks me out. I just want him there. Okay. I'll be there. Who gives a rat's ass about this rambling on and on about nothing? <laughs> Apparently not Amanda Hall. Who why, gives a rat's you, ass about your comment? comment? Yeah, who gives a rat's ass? Okay, let's see. Is there anything Tiffany does now that she is pregnant that really annoys you, like a new habit or ritual? Mm -mm. No, I don't. I feel like my habits haven't really changed or... Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't know. My nose is running. Um, question for Brad. How do you feel about the physical bump and feeling and seeing the baby moving? That's a good one. It's crazy. I, I thought it would be... I honestly thought it would be like a... I guess a soft... Really, it's just... It, it's, it's crazy. I don't... I love it. I don't, I don't. What does it feel? You said it, it was like a hard, soft. it just feels like there's all, it feels hard. I don't <laughs> think it would feel hard. That's the only thing that it. And then the baby like. The baby will start kicking and move and around. And he'll be like across, he'll be like, whoa. And you can see it, you know, you can start to see it now. Yeah. So it's, yeah, it's, it's, it's cool. Be doing a baby name reveal. We already answered that, we'll do that later. Or doing a baby room tour. I'll probably do like a nurse. I've been doing some things on my blog, but I'll probably do, um, in one of these pregnancy updates closer to time, I'll do a little video of the nursery. Do you think, question for Brad, obviously, do you think your daughter will be a daddy's girl? A lot of people thumbs that up, so they wanted to know. Because they, they always are, but yeah. They are. Um, I think um, Brad's going to be a really good father. Because he's just very, like, Brad just is very kind of like, um, you've got a good head on your shoulders. Like, you're, you're very, like, but you're smart about stuff, and you're pretty easygoing, but you're also, like... You care, you know? It's not like you're going to be like, well, oh, whatever. Hope so. <laughs> yes. Like he's, he's, yeah. Like he's concerned enough, but you know. How many, yeah, for Q&A, how many kids do you guys want? I, I don't think, I, I won't be able to answer that question. I don't think so either. I said a lot. In Until. The, yeah. We've talked about that before. We're like, well, maybe we should just have one child or maybe we should just, maybe no idea. when the baby I, comes, you might think that you really... I just don't think you'll really know like what our like how yeah. everything is with the baby and like if you might want a companion, you know, not a companion, but like a brother or a sister for the baby. I just don't know how. I don't See know. How this, I, have no, that, I, have I have no, no idea. idea. Yeah, no idea. See how this one. I have no idea. So we wreck this one. Brad, when Tiffany is pregnant, does she tend to be crappy? Crappy, 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 crappy? like with a P, <laughs> two P's. No. <laughs> I wonder if that means no, like no, crap, no. crappy or like is she crappy? Either way, I don't know. Um, okay, no moving on. <laughs> what do you think being a good father slash mother means? These are very deep questions. I just I don't know. I just think being there for your child, mm -hmm. just you know, yep, having pay, you're it. gonna always make mistakes and do things for that you cringe about. I'm sure like nobody's perfect, but I feel like you know. I don't know. What has changed for Brad and yourself uh, through the baby? Daily activities? Not Nothing yet. Not nothing yet. Yeah, I was about to say, I know that's going to be... It will, but... Yeah, yeah I, <laughs> that's going to be big nothing, when it gets there. Nothing's really changed. Mm -mm. Are you going to yeah. have a pregnancy photographer? A lot of people have asked me this, and I have not addressed it yet. Like, if we're going to be doing maternity photos, I really want to do that. Okay. But I've been wanting to wait. <laughs> it's just like, yeah, okay, I'll go there. Um... I wanted to wait though until I was showing a little more. I wonder how I look right now. I probably look at just like all no. cropped. Maybe I'm. It's good. Um, but yeah, I wanted to wait until I was showing a little bit more. Um, wait till like a little later. Yeah. A, yeah. Maybe yeah. probably probably wait another like I don't know. I, maybe like around the thirty week mark. That would I have be no good. idea when they're even done. I don't so. know either. Maybe around like the 30 week mark. Because you don't want to do it like when you're real swollen and like toward the end. You want us to look like cute. Mm. I'm going to name her names. A lot of names. Yeah. Have you been having mood swings? I, I do feel like I'm kind of emotional. Good and bad. I'll just be honest. Like I don't feel angry, but I do feel like sometimes things bother me more than usual. 
even though I don't get like, Co I don't know. I mean, not like, I don't like make huge deals out of things, but I just feel like within, like things irritate me more. It just comes with the territory. Yeah. Question number one, what life lessons and traits do you want to pass on to her? There's a lot of them. I don't think I can answer all that in this video. Yeah, there's a just, lot of just, you gotta be, just be good to people. Be a good person. That's a good just one. Live your life. Yeah. Not worried about other people and it's do a what very you want good to do. One. Don't get caught up in stuff that doesn't really matter in the long run. Yes. Otherwise, you're gonna be miserable. So <laughs> well, there you go. Life as I see it. Life, according to Brad. Yep. That's a good one. What is the biggest fear in having a girl? <laughs> um boys yeah you gotta learn how to do I, ponytails and stuff that i'm not worried about that i never did it with my well maybe a couple times with a my sister, sister but it'd be the dating for sure i that's a long way away so i feel we'll like he'd be really that. intense i would because when he gets uncomfortable or when like he gets mad he kind of just i would be down. and that's a while away so yes yeah, so you got some time yeah what was what was the aha moment that brad felt it really set in that he's having a baby girl Probably some something about the nursery, maybe. Yeah. Some when you like just stuff saw or it. Some of the just all to put together as much as it was at one point, or just a lot of with a lot of little girl stuff, because that's new for me. Did you say? Oh, this about. is she had more questions. What features oh. are you most excited to see in her? Eyes, laughs, noises, attitude. I am on the fence about one thing, which I was redheaded, and he, he, I. Didn't really like being redheaded, <laughs> but I don't know if it's different for a little girl. So I'm, I don't know. I don't know if I, I'm not sure. Well, That's the only thing that doing? comes up. Are you going to take childbirth classes? And she strongly suggests we go. They're helpful relaxation, da, 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 understanding the process, which totally agree with. Yeah. Yeah. We, Thank um, there's a lot of stuff that our hospital does. They do like breastfeeding things, which I'll probably go to. And, um, they have a big class that you have to pay for, um, that's a childbirth class where they teach you the breathing techniques. And then there's one that you don't pay for where they don't do it. But I kind of want to do it. Yeah. And I think you just go like a couple Sundays or a couple Saturdays. Is your husband, has your husband been affected as far as picking up any of your pregnancy symptoms such as nesting or cravings? Because some men feel like they have cravings or you eat different. I definitely don't eat different. <laughs> yeah, he's been eating about the same. I don't know about any, I don't, I'm not sure about anything else, but as far as the cravings go, my, no. Mummy car. What kind of mommy car did you get for the baby? I did get a different car, but I don't, but not just because of the baby. No. It's because we needed my, well, we didn't need it, but my car was um, having some problems and it was getting really expensive to fix because yeah. it was expensive. It's a SUV car that and... you have to really like pay a lot of money to get fixed. So I got an SUV mm -hmm. that is um, really nice. It's a big one that is not a huge SUV, but not a small SUV, but it has three rows, which is nice for. Yeah. Waylon, where is he? He, he keeps like, I keep thinking he's there and he's not there. He's gone. Um, but I, I really like it. It's gonna be easy to get things in and out of and... <laughs> what are you mo- Waylon brought his toy in here. Um, he's got his flat cow. It says, what are you most excited to do with your baby when she's here? A visit somewhere, an activity, a seasonal holiday, etc. Christmas is going to be fantastic because I love Christmas. Who doesn't like Christmas? Brad There's loves. People that don't celebrate Christmas. Christmas, but I like Christmas. He loves Christmas. Christmas trees everywhere. Three, four. I know because everything's just like I'm trying to decorate the house and like have all these big fancy Christmas no. trees. Brad, like this year. Cri go ahead. No, no. Well, I, I told Brad this year I was like, no, I'm not going to be wanting to decorate trees right before the baby's here, and he's like, yeah, we're gonna have Christmas yeah. tree. For Christmas. Well, uh, yeah, we're gonna have a Christmas tree. I just may not go all out with like the giant like. That's gonna be fun for sure, though. Yeah, that'll be fun, and I, I think it'll be good because if she's born in January, she's due in January, then she'll be a good age at Christmas. You know, she won't be so newborn. I mean, she'll be able to see things and kind of understand things a little. Yeah. Not like fully understand, but you know what I mean. She'll be excited. If both of, this is a good one, if both of you could pick one of your own physical features that your baby would inherit, what would it be and why? One of your physical features. 
why don't I pick one of you and you pick one of me? Okay, that's very good. I would pick Brad's lips. Brad has really good lips. Yeah. It'd be Tiffany's eyes. That's Tiffany's good. eyes. That's a good combo. Yeah, it'd be, it'd be good. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll find out. <laughs> oh, baby, see. How did Brad feel when he first felt the baby move? It's a good one. Good. I don't know, I can really describe how I felt, really. It felt, I guess I had an idea in my mind that it was, that, of how it was going to feel and it kind of felt similar, so I was, it was great. It was great, she. was excited. It made it feel more real. Yeah, yeah. Feel it all, feel it all the time now, see it all the time moving. Mm-hmm. See her trying to box her way out of there. <laughs> Do you think Waylon will be a good boy when the baby comes? He better. Yeah. He's a little back and forth. Sometimes you just never know. No, I think he, he's, with us, with me, he's kind of so we we play rough. We play kind of rough, but and, and Tiffany, he kind of somehow wants sometimes wants to play rough with her because I that's my fault because I really play rough with them. But as far as other that. stuff with other like little other people, smaller people, kids, little animals, he's not. It's it's weird. He's completely the opposite. He will just sit there and watch them. Mm -hmm. I think he won't. He won't I, I think it's gonna be the same way with little with the little girl in the house. I don't think he'll do anything. I think he'll just be. Because I think really he'll. Attentive. It's not. It's not like a little girl. She's gonna come busting in here, just running all over the yeah, place and exciting him. Right. Like she's gonna be in her little. You know, she's gonna be very like immobile for a while, and he'll kind of see that she's small, yeah. and he'll kind of hopefully get used to it. For Brad, are you at all nervous about how your relationship could change after the baby is born? Oh, no. Do you have any Not fears of becoming a dad? No, well, not much fears. I'm going to worry about everything, but not, I mean, it just comes with the territory. I'm not afraid of anything yeah. like that, so. Has your hormones gotten the best of you? She said one time when she was pregnant, she couldn't get the microwave to work, so she sat on the kitchen floor and cried. I've had a, I've had a lot of weird moments, like, um, <laughs> not angry moments, but just where I get, like, really doing um yeah I just I get kind of really like sad and emotional about things and if something is wrong or if I get something in my head where I start thinking about something I, or worrying about something I really like kind of run with it um music yeah music really is you can't listen, you can't listen to country music when you're no, pregnant because stop. it'll just it'll I cause know. a lot of works yeah I had to stop what types of traditions or fun things do you know you want to do down the road Tradition, maybe Disney World. <laughs> when she's Trip a little Disney older, World. when she can like Down really road, enjoy yeah. it, yeah. We go there every year. Yeah, I really love Disney World, and that, that's we were talking about that the other day. Like, we love going to Disney World. We just went last year. We went in November was the last time we went, and I know how excited we get, and I just know how much fun it's going to be mm -hmm. bringing a child there that has never seen any of that before. Like, that will be so. So that'll be fun. And just taking trips, family trips yeah. to the beach or, you know, yeah. playing outside or just doing, you know, little things like that. Uh, once the baby comes, can you do baby vlogs? I'm going to miss these weekly talking videos. I probably won't show her weekly. And I, I don't even know, if, you know, like I said, but um, maybe like every now and then I might do an update or something. I'm really just doing these pregnancy videos because it's something that I'm going through and I know obviously... A lot of, I mean, you guys have really enjoyed them, and it's fun to, like, um, share something like that with, with you guys. Uh, question for you, Tiffany, now that you're over halfway there. Anything you really miss? Sushi, wine, being able to paint your toes. Um, I have had some, like, I've really wanted sushi a couple times. Um, and I know you can get sushi that's cooked, and you can get different kinds. But I'm just, you know, I'm not going to go somewhere and make a big deal about getting it and trying to get cooked sushi. I mean, I don't know. Wine, I haven't missed any of that. I've never really, like, drank super regularly before. So I don't miss, I haven't missed that at all. Uh, being able to paint your toes. My toes have been very natural for a long time. <laughs> I mean, I cut them and stuff, and I'm not big on pedicures. I just get freaked out about germs and stuff. But um, it's been hard for me. Even, um, like, weeks back before my belly got bigger, you just, you can't lean over. It feels like it's just hard. Like, you just can't, you know? So I told Brad he may have to, if if, if it was going to be, like, summertime when I was really big, Brad would have probably had to have painted my toes. But since it's fall and winter, it's kind of nice not having to worry about it. We What's are going, yeah. going to do it that. It says, um, question you are you, the question first. Yeah, we are, yes. Yeah. 
Yes, and yes, no. It says, a question for you and Brad, are you gonna be taking a baby moon, kind of like a honeymoon before the baby comes, and are you going to get a push present? Who knows? Well, who knows? Um, but we are going on a We trip. are going on a bait, yeah. We are, I wanna, I want to be surprised. How about the present? Oh. No pressure. <laughs> but the, but yeah, we already taken a trip. Um, yeah, um, we're going to the beach. I just wanted to go and just relax. He's trying to get in between uh, here. You see that? He's trying to wedge in between us. Why? <laughs> oh, hey. He does sleep. Why? Okay. What has been your absolute way. favorite part of being pregnant? Just being pregnant. It's been really fun. I love it. I just, I love it. I just love the belly. I love the way it looks. I love the way it feels. Um, the feelings, that's the most important thing, like, or the best thing, or just the little feelings and feeling the baby. He's looking through the chair. Oh, funny boy. Okay. Oh, what <laughs> Question, what do your parents say you were like as babies? Does this give you any idea of what to expect? I was like, I from what they said, like I just kind of was um, a night owl, and I never slept in my crib. I know when I showed my parents my crib, my mom was like, or my grandma, or my mom was like, you never slept in your crib, you know, like you may not need that. Mm. Um, I was just kind of a night owl. I was very like bubbly and a dramatic child. Brad was kind of a night owl too from when they told Didn't they say that you didn't sleep? Like you'd be in your bassinet and they'd look over and he'd just be like. <laughs> I can't, uh, that sounds, yeah. So I don't know if we're gonna get a good sleeper. Let's cross our fingers. That's what we do. Let's cross our fingers. Do I, yeah, do I notice my feet getting large? Um, no, yes and no. I've been wearing my Javianas like crazy, so I guess I wouldn't notice if my feet were getting large. And some of my Tory Burch flats that are like real stretchy, you know, and comfy. But then the other day, remember I had to help you, you had, Brad had to help me, those um, Kate Spade like Eiffel Tower flats, I couldn't get down to really buckle them because I, I didn't want to lean over too long because it hurts. And so he was buckling them and it would like not go on. It was like Cinderella, like where the shoe would not go on. Uh -huh. The stepsister's like ginormous foot. And it was real tight, so I feel like maybe they've gotten wider, which is not a good thing, because I've gotten wide in the first, I've got wide feet in the first place. For Brad, have you felt involved at the doctor's appointments or sort of pushed aside? And I'll, well, yeah. Do you feel involved in the doctor's appointments? I don't know how much involved I can be. <laughs> I know, right? But well, no, I, 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 don't, I, feel, I don't feel like I'm ignored, I guess. Yeah, so it's, I'm, I'm right there with you. Yeah, they welcomed I, in. I the, shouldn't be. I remember the one time. The discussion, though. Yeah, the one time that you came, um, one of the first appointments he came in and he went back with me and he was sitting like like the stirrups are here and everything and she said okay just go ahead and change normally they don't like examine you but I think one of the first ones they do and I didn't mind him being in there but he was like right there and it was just like hi <laughs> that's <was> funny <laughs> so he was really, he was involved in that one yeah there you go <laughs> you weren't like okay and then no. it says how involved would you like to be with the birth will you cut the cord I have a the way <laughs> I probably will but you will I mean don't you want me to I don't care I want you to do what you're well, well, like, gonna do it because you want me to oh I, I just thought because if it's up to me I probably won't well that's what you should do because blood is the only thing in this world that it may not be like out. that though we just don't know what to expect I'm sure it'll be you may feel just so overwhelmed at the time that you may just be like let me cut that cord just give me that I, well, we'll see if that happens but if you but don't yeah, if, that's cool I don't care. I don't care. <laughs> There's the answer without I just want him to be there with me, standing we'll be there. there. <laughs> will, you, will you have skin to skin with her? What's that? It's like where after, you know, like they put the baby on the mom's chest, like for skin to skin, and a lot of men do that too, just to bond with the baby. Oh, if that, yeah, I don't want, I mean. Yeah. I think that was a thing, sure. Yeah. Would you want to be hands-on with the actual delivery? You don't want to get up in there and catch the baby? No. I don't want to do I don't know that. what that means, but I can't do that. I, I would rather the doctor handle that. I don't want to be <laughs> in a hospital bed next to Brad's her not passing out. You can get in the bed with me. Well, we'll see. If you start passing out, they will just, they will, you just, they'll prop you up and you'll just have to be there because uh, you just don't, I don't know what I'd do. 
Is Waylon excited to be a big brother? I, he, I think he knows something is going on. I know, I keep wondering. He, he, sometimes he'll stare at her, um, Tiffany's bump. And then he'll just start sniffing the bump. Yeah, right? and he'll like... Yeah. yeah, the bump. The bump. Yeah. The belly. The, the belly, belly bump. whatever. And she, he will just start sniffing. That makes me uh, sound smelly. No, no, no. It's just, you can tell. It's right there. And maybe he sees something moving. Or, or maybe he, it, can he can sense hear it. it. I think the camera's about to cut off. But. It is. I need a new. Let me go get my other. Okay, so I, like I said, we could go on and on. There are so many questions, but I know this video is getting really long. And we will go ahead and wrap it up. Um, I'll go, I'll show you my outfit. I'll show you my bump and my outfit in a second. Um, but Brad and I will go ahead and say goodbye because Brad's going to have to move because I don't want to be like, hey, showing them my stuff. Um, Waylon is like Mr. Attention. He's like, why are you both staring at the camera and not me? He's like, I'm not used to that. But we will do another one of these closer, mm -hmm. maybe toward the end. And I'm sure a lot of stuff will change then, but it's like, it's so crazy that there's only a couple more months, couple more mo like we're at 25 weeks and you go to like, say like 40 weeks. How many weeks is that? 15. 15. It's crazy. It's October, November. Yeah. We okay. will do another one, hopefully closer to time. And, um, I'll share the nursery and stuff. A lot of you asked about the nursery, so all that will come up, but, um, but thank you guys for watching. I'll say goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> well, I'm gonna show because he has to move out of the way for me to show my outfit. So Let me go. Come, on. come on. Good sport, Brad. Go, 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 go. He's like, oh my gosh, get me out of here. Um, okay, go. so for my outfit, I have on. Golly, that looks. I guess it's just the color of the top. But this is what the bump looks like this week. I'll put that so you can really see. Um, yeah, this is a uh, one of those Liz Lang Target maternity tops which I would highly recommend. I would say buy them in every color that you can because like today under this, I'm wearing a black one because the band of your pants will show. So you kind of have to layer them sometimes. Um, and then this is a really, really nice, uh, really bright cardigan sweater type thing from Zara that I really, really love. And I have this necklace from Bobble Bar, and then this is from my friend Lorraine's website that I'll link below. And then I'm wearing my AG jeans that I really like. I don't have much shoes yet. I think I'm gonna put on like my flat Sam Edelman GG sandals. That's something else. That's why I can't tell if my feet have gotten big because I've been wearing shoes that don't have like sides to them. I've been wearing sandals. So I can't really tell if my feet have gotten wider. So I'm, I'm just so afraid to put on my nice shoes. Uh, but they, these are new. Um, I just went ahead and, gosh, I got Waylon here all over me. Um, they're black denim. They've got a lot of distressed details to them. And I have been wearing these like crazy. These are the softest jeans. AG jeans are expensive. And I got my denim pair from, uh, or my blue, you know, like my regular blue pair from eBay and got a really great deal. These I just went ahead and bit the bullet and bought because they are so soft. My blue ones are really soft and I found that, um, I'm just going to go ahead and sit back down. Um, I found that I was not wearing my, uh, Southern for All Mankind ones as much because they, the denim is not as soft and stretchy as these. So these I think are very, very worth it. Uh, so just depends on how you look at it. And I know I'll wear these after the baby comes as well. So, um, I just re really love these. And that is it. Thank you guys for watching and we'll talk to you soon. Bye.